in this video we are going to see how to design uh, ripple or asynchronous counter right so asynchronous counter consists of series of flip flop and the output of each flip flop connected to the clock input of the next flip flop and the flip flop holding the lsb receives the incoming clock pulse right so now these are the steps to design the ripple counter so first step is determine the number of flip flops needed right and uh, it should satisfy the condition 2 power n greater than or equal to number of states right and then next step is what we have to choose the type of flip flop and if we select t flip flop then we have to connect all the inputs right all the flip flops inputs to logic one and if we select jk flip flop then we have to connect all the jk inputs of all flip flops to logic one and third step is we have to write the truth table for a rocket counter and fourth step is we have to derive the reset logic for uh, for the counter right using the k-map and the last step is we have to draw the logic diagram right so now we are going to design bcd counter right so bcd counter right so bcd counter so it consists of 0 to 9 numbers right so totally 10 numbers so number of states so number of states equal to what 10 right so first step is uh, first step is what we have to determine the number of flip flops needed right so we have to satisfy the condition so 2 power n greater than or equal to 10 right so we have to substitute n equal to 1 so if n equal to 1 2 power n 1 so this is equal to uh, this is not equal to right so not greater than or equal to 10 right and now substitute n equal to 2 so 2 power 2 so it does not greater than or equal to 10 and substitute n equal to 3 and 2 power 3 so this is also not greater than or equal to 10 so the condition is not satisfied and then put n equal to 4 2 power 4 so this condition is satisfied right so so n equal to 4 that means what so the number of flip flops needed equal to what 4 so we have to use 4 flip flops right and the second step is what we have to choose a type of flip flop so we can choose either t flip flop or jk flip flop so whatever the flip flop you are going to use you have to connect all the inputs to logic one right so now i am going to use jk flip flop right so jk flip flop right and before uh, jk flip flop and third step is what we have to write the truth table so truth table so we are having 0 to 9 numbers right 9 numbers and then we have to use 4 flip flops so A, B, C and D so this is what LSB and this is what MSB right and before that we have to write clock pulse right so now so we have to write all the 0 to 9 numbers that is bcd numbers so 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 1 right so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 right so from 0 to 9 we are having the bcd numbers but we are having what 4 flip flops so we are having 2 power 4 equal to 16 so 16 possible combinations so we have to write all the 16 possible combinations right so 10 1 0 1 0 so 11 1 0 1 1 12 1 1 0 0 13 1 1 0 1 14 1 1 1 0 15 1 1 1 right so we now we have written all the 16 possible combinations and we have to count up to 0 to 9 
right so up to 0 to 9 right so now we have to uh, now we have to derive the logic right so logic for reset right so here we have to derive so reset logic so for that we have we are going to write the condition right so in our counter so the zero status zero status included right so it's zero status in the counter and one is present second status present and this third one is present and fourth one is present fifth one is present and sixth one is present and seventh one is present and eighth one is present and ninth one is present right so in our pcd counter so 10 11 12 13 14 15 so these states are not possible in our bcd counter so we have to write zero right so zero 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 right so in our reset logic so we have to put one so if the state is possible in our counter right so we have to put one for all possible states in our counter and we have to put all impossible states for this counter right so zero state is possible one is possible two is possible three is possible four is possible five is possible and six seven eight nine right so up to nine uh, up to nine states are possible in our vcd counter and after nine right so 10 11 12 13 14 15 right so these states are not possible in our vcd counter so we have to put logic zero right so now we are going to derive the reset logic right so we are going to find out the expression for y right so k map so draw the k map so draw the k map for y right so this this is dc and ba 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right and then so what have, so now we are going to enter this one so 1 so 1 and 2 also 1 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 right and uh, and remaining remaining states are not possible so we are going to put zero right so now we are going to group so we can group these eight and then we can group this four right so now the reset logic is what y equal to so here so here so all the variables are changing so here it is d complement and then for this so here we are having p complement and here we are having c complement right so c complement p complement right so this is the reset logic condition right now we are going to connect uh, we are going to draw the logic diagram so reset logic is g complement plus c complement b complement right and we are having four jk flip flop so write this so four first draw the four flip flops so one two three and four right so four flip flops so this is a flip flops so it receives right so it receives the first clock pulse right and this is b flip flop and this is d and this is d right and this is j k q q complement 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 right and now so connect all the jk inputs to logic one so logic one so connect all the inputs right and then so this is our lsb so this flip flop receives a clock signal and the output of this a flip flop will be the clock pulse to the b flip flop and the output of the q right so the output of the b flip flop will be the clock pulse for this c and the output of the q 
of C will be the clock pulse for the D. Right? And this is our LSB A and this is our B and this is our C and this is our D. Right? And now we are going to connect the reset logic. So the reset logic is what? D complement plus C complement, B complement. And this logic will be connected to all the flip-flops. Right? So first the logic. So here we are having R gate. R gate and one AND gate. So AND gate. And then. So the output of the AND, the output of the AND gate is connected to the R gate with D complement. And this will be what? C complement, B complement. Right? And this will be connected with all the flip flops. Right? So we can connect this with the C complement. That is what Q complement of C and this is Q complement of B and this is Q complement of D. Right? So hope you understand. Thank you.